win and I want it. You can get it. Hold up, my word play is on a different level. I'm getting hot, popping off. Guess I'm in the kettle. A rock star, so you know I fast life. Leave my foot. The starting lineup now for the visiting Dallas Mavericks at shooting guard Trey Burke. At power forward, Maxi Kega. At the other forward position, Tim Hardaway Jr. At center, Chris Apps Porzingis. At the other guard position, Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason King. to have a legend of the game at the broadcast table with us, Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks for allowing me to join you all today. I appreciate it. And a quick look at how the Toronto Raptors schedule is shaping up. On Monday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. And then on Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Luka Doncic is out there with Trey Burke. And it's Hardaway in at the three, the small forward. And for the Raptors, Ananobi the three with Siakam at the four. Fred Van Vliet out there with Goran Dragic. And it's Birch in at the center. Well, Luka Doncic, a player who has burst onto the NBA scene the last couple of years. Candace, did you think he would be this good so early in his career? I did not, B.A. Um, just the way that he changes speed. He plays the game at his pace, and whatever you guess as a defender, you're going to be wrong. Um, you know, he's that guy that can really take on the scoring load and responsibility. So, yes, uh, he is a dominant player, and no, I didn't think he would be this good. Uh, the Luka magic is real. That's good from Hardaway on the assist by Doncic. When you play with Luka now, Doncic, he's ready to find you if you're open. So you've got to be ready to receive. Pass to Ananobi. Let's it go from deep. Mavericks with a the rebound. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. Now here's Siakam. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. Sinks it from distance. And the beauty of Siakam's game lies in the versatility. Terrific pass. Here's Doncic. Four-point game. Pass to Hardaway. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. 
And a fast break now for the Raptors. Some room here for Dragic. And he drains the quick shot. Dragic has got five now. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Well, Candace, you've won WNBA titles, college titles, gold medals. I could go on and on. Is there a championship that you cherish the most? The WNBA championship for me um, is the best of the best. I think that was the championship that took the longest to get. That was the hardest. And, you know, I think because of that, I appreciate it that much more. And Porzingis with the block. Hey, with that length, Porzingis is always a threat to block shots. I mean, when he matches that length with really good energy and awareness, he can be a good defender. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And Fleet, the pass to Siakam. Dragic with it. Lays it up and banks it in. Dragic has got his third bucket of the night. The Mavericks have gone two of four so far. Here's Doncic, and they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Tell you what, guys, that's not an easy finish, but somehow Doncic makes it look rather effortless. And the Raptors with some changes. Boucher's checked in for Birch. Barnes comes in for Ananobi, and it's Trent in for Dragic. Finney Smith's checked in for the Mavericks. free throw off from Doncic and you knew you loved basketball early on but when did broadcasting come into the picture Candace? Yeah I grew up with two older brothers and all we did was debate on our couch watching basketball so honestly um, I'd like to say I've been broadcasting since I can remember but to have an opportunity to broadcast along some of the icons of the game players that I grew up with and like you yourself just listening to all the time uh, it's, it's a huge opportunity I definitely don't don't take it for granted. And as your brothers would add, Candace loves to talk. <laughs> they told you to say that, huh? <laughs> they put you up to that. And he drops the first. As a teenager, yeah, I said as a teenager, Doncic recorded four triple doubles during his rookie season. Before Lucas Ford, there had just been one triple double by a teenager in the history of the league. That's special. The Raptors making a switch here. Uh, Chu has checked in. Doncic hits them both. Toronto's gone two of three from three-point land so far. And the unique challenges of the 2021 season really hit the Raptors hard, Candace. How does the team bounce back from that? And that's what's so hard to have dynasties. You realize how hard it is to win year to year in the NBA. Some of the best basketball in the entire world on a nightly basis. So Toronto definitely has to continue to build up on their foundation, on their leadership. And, and try to get some pieces to make this franchise better. Well, it helps to be back in their home environment again, playing on the road for every game. Certainly no fun last year. To the paint. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. The three from Barnes. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. First in points off turnovers, fourth in steals, and one thing they could lean on night in and night out was their rim protection. Top five in blocks on the year. And their aggressive attitude on defense won them plenty of turnovers, which they quickly turned into points, slotting them in at the top spot for that stat. The 11-footer. And again, Toronto no good. The Mavericks have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Brunson on the drive. It's tipped. Here's Trent. Finney Smith pulls it in. The Mavericks trailing. Powell finds Cauley Stein. And here's Doncic. The three. Pure from three-point range. Doncic has got ten. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. 
There's very little defense for that. Doncic outside. His fourth make him five tries. Solid start for him. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. The drive by Van Vliet. That one is off. Here's Dallas now. They're on a 14 to six run. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. For Toronto, they've got six of 14 in so far. Barnes against Doncic. Barnes with it. Coming off a 16 point game against the Celtics in Boston. Up and over Doncic. Misses off the left iron. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And with his team playing well on their home floor, Goran Dragic says they've still got to be locked in. It's easier to play at home. You're, you're playing in front of your fans. Um, you're sleeping in your bed, and you know every, everything feels better. But um, still, you know, um, we need to be locked in from the first minute to the last and um, play the same with the intensity, with energy like we did so far at home. Nothing like home cooking. <laughs> That's the truth. But you've got to be wary of those trap games. Like he said, you got to bring it no matter where you're playing. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. And an Obi the three with Siakam at the four. Goran Dragic is out there with Gary Trent. And it's Birch in at the center position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. The Mavericks leading. Well, Candace, it's surprising the number of great players who struggle at the free throw line. What advice would you give them? It's interesting. I've had this conversation with Shaq a number of times. Um, I think it's super important. Uh, I sing at the free throw line. It goes back to muscle memory. So you end up taking the thought and the mental aspect out of it and just going back to how you've shot time and time again. Um, that's the biggest thing is continuing that routine and making a repetitive motion. Well, we're all waiting. Let's hear your song. I sing Song Cry by Jay-Z. Same verse every time. Well, we're all waiting. Let's hear you sing your song. <laughs> That's for another game. <laughs> At the line for Toronto. Kim Birch. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Well, Candace, we're seeing a lot more national broadcast of WNBA games. Great to see that enhanced spotlight on the women's game right now. Yes, visibility is so important. You can't understand what you're not able to see, and so it's going to be um, crucial for our game's growth to continue to have that. Here's Trent. After the Mavericks pick it up a basket just a moment ago. Brunson against Dragic. The three is up. Mavericks with a rebound. Kleba's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
to the middle. And it's poor Zingas that time on the assist by Brunson. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Trent. 11 points for him last game against the Celtics in Boston. Here's Jogic. Down to five on the shot clock. Into the lane. There's the block. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Dallas. Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And so here is Toronto following the score by Dallas and the basket by Trent. All right, Candace, I know you grew up a Chicago Bulls fan. Who is your favorite player on those legendary Bulls teams not named Michael Jordan? Well, you know, I loved following the Bulls, especially in the 90s. That was when I fell in love with basketball. Um, but there was a guy named Ron Harper that I really enjoyed watching. I think that he was a huge piece in their championship run. And, um, you know, before he joined the Bulls, he used to give number 23 a couple battles for the Cavs. You might go with Dennis Rodman for a minute. That's a good one, too. here for Toronto. Achua's checked in for Birch. Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. Barnes, he's checked in for Ananobi. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Trent. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Porzingis. Powell comes in for Kleba. Finney Smith's checked in for Burke. And Doncic has subbed in for Brunson. The Mavericks have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Pass to Cauley Stein. For three, Hardaway. And it's Toronto with a rebound. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. It was frankly embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. And, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything going against you. Very frustrating. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Pass to Cauley Stein. Back to Doncic. Three pointer. Nails it from three. Doncic has got 15. Offensively, there's nothing Doncic can't do. I mean, consistency with the three ball being one of the few things left that he has to refine. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Toronto. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Yeah, I like everything you said there because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. 
Well, Candace, thanks so much for joining us and sharing your insights into the game. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. What impresses you about Candace? She's so invested in helping the game grow in a positive direction. Well, you know, I think in an interview she was quoted as saying, do good, be good, give back. Well, she walks that talk, boy, and walks it well. Now here's Finney Smith. He's got five. There's 39 seconds left in the first half. Barnes passes to Boucher. Van Vliet outside. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. And he's able to get it back. And the basket by Dragic. The defense not doing a good job at all of getting after him. They've got to crowd him and make it tough for him. That's his second this quarter. Count that one. Doncic just got five points in the quarter. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Dragic outside. The three is up. And the Raptors, another three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Mavericks ahead. They lead by a bucket. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Howdy, folks, and without further ado, now's a great time to check in with other games currently in progress. Out in Cleveland, it's the Cavaliers taking care of business against the Hawks. Second half of basketball going on in a tight game. Yeah, so far, neither team can capture momentum and sustain it. And now let's analyze this first half. It's been all Luka Doncic just doing whatever he wants out there. This is his game on the offensive end, putting up shot after shot, hitting at a great clip. The defense needs to wake up and put pressure on him, or he can run them out the gym. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime man you gotta like what we're seeing from Goran Dragic he's been so disruptive defensively in the first half his fast hands pick plenty of pockets well I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far he's aware he's alive he's alert quick to react to everything that's going on around him can't do it much better than that We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. On the court right now for Dallas. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Trey Burke is out there with Luka Doncic, and it's Hardaway in at the small forward position. Now here's Doncic. 17 points in the game. And, you know, taking a look into your crystal ball, Clark, which team do you think has the brightest future? Well, that's a tough one, B.A. There are a lot of teams that have really some outstanding young stars on their rosters. I mean, you look at the Celtics with Tatum and Brown. That duo is dynamic. And then the Mavs with Luka Doncic. Clearly, that guy is a star and a longtime star barring injury. And how about the Pelicans? Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson, the Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Mikel Bridges. I mean, those are four teams I rattled off that would fall into that category for sure. Well, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Pass to Birch and lead with it. There's a screen by Birch. Wide open look, and it's good. Two points. A very high percentage look when the D is nowhere to be seen. Doncic left side. Outside Porzingis. Back to Burke. Doncic on the wing. This one for three. They get the rebound. Here's Hardaway. And they pick up two. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Dragic. 
It in. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Kleba shot is off. Toronto's gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. No good there. And it's Dallas the other way. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Back to Porzingis. Here's Ananobi. Porzingis grabs the board. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. And he doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. A t-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, your north side crew. Boucher's checked in for Birch. Barnes comes in for Ananobi. And it's Trent in for Dragic. Toronto trailing. And here's Siakam. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Machua's checked in for Siakam. Raptors! Precious Achua! Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Powell against Boucher. Outside Barnes. Six on the shot clock. From nine feet. No luck on that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. That's his first. All right, now that we have a break, let's take a look at which teams capitalized from the line last season. The line Fourth, for Toronto. Toronto. Free throw shooting for this team has become a real priority. The they put in the work, and they make the most of their opportunities at the strike. First one falls for him. Second free throw, no good. Well, you know, coming off knee surgery last season, Porzingis got off to a slow start, literally. He struggled to move his feet defensively and even offensively. 
it takes a lot of time to get back to full strength when you're coming off that much missed time and that kind of injury. Now here's Brunson looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's Burke missing. A minute six left in the third. Up top Barnes. He's marked by Finney Smith. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Something else they've done a lot tonight is take advantage of any gaps in the D with quick, aggressive drives down the lane. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Brunson passes to Powell. Uses the glass on the layup. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. And again, no good by Toronto. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebound. Here's Benny Smith. Missed inside. For Toronto, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Yo, yo, yo. Barnes finds Boucher. Now Trent. Pass to Boucher. The three. Drills it from deep. Boucher's got himself on the board with a three there. Now here's Brunson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Outside, Finney Smith. Inside. Three seconds left. Burke, it's good. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Finney Smith. Points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. The Mavericks on top, up six. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And an Obi the three with Siakam at the four. Goran Dragic is out there with Gary Trent. And it's Birch in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Now here's Siakam. Five to shoot. Pass to Ananobi. Takes the three. And the Raptors get it back to the inside. Trent. An easy two on the layup. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Doncic with it, and it's Ananobi picking him up. Outside Brunson, back to Kleba. Pass to Doncic. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. Toronto's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. Siakam with it. He's checked by Kleba. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Beyond the arc. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Ananobi's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. 
Now Doncic. Over Trent. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Now here's Birch. Trent, the pass to Birch. Brunson against Trent. Birch with a screen on Brunson. Trent from long range. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Kleba outside. Pass to Hardaway. Doncic with it. Takes a three. Another miss by Doncic. He hasn't found the range lately. It's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half. And Birch slams it in. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Brunson passes to Doncic. Back to Brunson. Oh, they need this. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Dragic. There's the triple. Good. Now seven for 11 on the night. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning. They have not stopped. All right. Making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Burke comes in for Brunson. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Mavericks said to the team. He told them he likes what he's seeing inside. Saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys? Appreciate the report, Allie. For Dallas, they've got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. And Goran Dragic gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Now here's Doncic. Will it go? And it's good on the layup. Doncic has got 21. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Doncic has been an immediate star. Capable of big nights just about any time he's on the court. And Lee finds Dragic. From behind the arc. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Doncic. Up and in on the layup. Doncic has got four points in the quarter. Doncic, such a difficult matchup. Too big for a guard, too skilled for most wings. Luka is simply a problem in capital letters, exclamation point. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Driving inside, and Doncic with the jam. Big time flush by Doncic. Man, this young fella really has a lot of game. Siakam against Kleba. Siakam in the post. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It'll go on Maxi Kleba. At the line for your Raptors. Pass down, Siakam. Taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. An incredibly improved player. Pascal Siakam scored just four points a game as a rookie, then seven in his second year. But Siakam worked hard, becoming an all-star in year four, almost scoring 23 per game. Oh. 
see Occam hit them both. In tense situations at the line, they can count on him to keep his cool. Doncic outside. Pass to Burke. Back to Doncic. And falls! And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. They're losing by two. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Dragic. Porzingis grabs the board. And Dallas with possession. Two-point game. Hardaway, the pass to Kleba. Doncic outside from deep three-point range. And it's Toronto with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Siakam. He's checked by Kleba. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Oh, he buried the three! Big-time bucket to put him in front. Now they've got to put everything into their D and come up with a big stop. All right, man, get on your feet and make some noise for teacher time. Ladies and gentlemen, your north side crew. Seconds left in the fourth. Doncic against Dragic. And Doncic, here we go. Yes! 
Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. Who wants a teacher? Make some noise! Ladies and gentlemen, your North Side Cruise! Seven seconds left to play in the fourth. For three, Dragic. This is the three. Here's Birch. It's in. So a close game sees Toronto taking this one. What a performance they have here at home today. Well, I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Hey there, I'm here with Pascal Siakam. The shots were falling for you tonight. How would you like the flow offensively? Uh, I like it. You know, we play for each other like we always do. Move the ball around, get the open shots. And today, they went in, so we got to continue to play. It's helpful when it goes in. Thanks so much, Pascal. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Goran Dragic.